You're listening to Sunny Breeze with me, Earl Gibb. Don't touch that dial. This is Earl Gibb coming to you live. Uh, Unless this is a recording. I guess you'd have no way of knowing that. (laughs) You're listening to Sunny Breeze. This is Earl Gibb, and you're listening to Sunny Breeze. Kick back or sit normally and relax. While you were busy listening to the radio, I was looking something up on the computer. But, well, it would take me too long to get into it. Plus, there's no cure anyway, so just sit back and relax. You're listening to Sunny Breeze with me, Earl Gibb. I hope you like this next one, and it makes your day feel bright. This is Earl Gibb, and you're listening to Sunny Breeze, helping you remain calm throughout the day. You're de-stressing with your good pal Earl Gibb here on Sunny Breeze. Hope you're having a lovely day out there today, folks. Keep it tuned right here. When your nerves are all a jangle and the world feels like a pair of unironed pajamas, keep it tuned right here to Sunny Breeze. We'll put a little smile in your day. This is Earl Gibb, and you're listening to Sunny Breeze, where the living is easy, folks. This hour's music is dedicated to all the people out there who are feeling a little wound up, a little frustrated with life. And I know we've all been there. So kick off those shoes, place them neatly on the rack out of the way, and enjoy this next tune. You know, I'm a pretty easygoing guy, but you want to know what really gets my nuts? When everybody is happy that it's close to the mark. I want it on the mark. On the mark. Not close to the mark. I know it'll work. I know it'll be fine. But it won't be right. But it's okay. It's not really a big deal. I'm not saying it's a big deal. It just bothers me sometimes. But never mind. Let's remember what's important and get back to the music. Here's another interesting life hack for all our fellow Type A listeners. People always ask me why I carry a spray bottle around with me. Well, it's all thanks to a very helpful young lady who splashed some water on my face one time when I was getting a little carried away, a long time ago. Anyway, people, let me tell you, when you're feeling a little down, like the world is a little bit messed up, if you give yourself a little spritz, it just sort of resets the mood. Anyway, I really like it. Your mileage may vary. This is your friendly neighborhood DJ, Earl Gibb here, hoping you're having a lovely day. We're almost halfway through another relaxing hour. That's right. No stress allowed for the next 37, oh, sorry, make that 36 minutes. Time to put those nagging worries aside. You know, there's something that's been on my mind that I know I won't be thinking about. Been keeping me up at night. But it's nothing important. Just got to let it go. No point fretting about the sewer lines. I know, I know it's probably best not to think about it, and neither should you. Uh, But just in case that is what's been nagging away at your brain, let me just say, to put your mind at ease, they're two totally separate sets of pipes. Totally separate. 
and they never get them confused. The man who explained it to me was very clear on that point. I made sure. Of course, it, you know, it still just makes you wonder. It's only natural. Uh, but, uh, but for the next 35 minutes, we're not going to worry. We're just going to get out of the way and let those hard-working technicians do their jobs. Matter of fact, this next one goes out to the whole crew, making sure all the lines always go the right way. Thanks, guys. The other day, I was at my favorite breakfast place, and I heard this rather loud and frantic voice, a woman's voice, and quite agitated, like I said. Ah, she was so lovely. I, I mean that most respectfully, of course. Uh, but I only caught a quick glance and looked away. Uh, no need to upset her any further. Well, she was having one of those days. We all have them, right? A bit beside herself, she was, and yelling at her friend on the phone about somebody named Poindexter. Anyway, my lovely, if you're within the reach of my voice, trust me, everything is going to work out. You're going to be just fine. This is Earl Gibb, and you're listening to Sunny Breeze. Hello, my friends. This is Earl Gibb. Hope you like that last one. It's one of my favorites. But you know, I like them all. That's what's so great about my job. No matter all the craziness out there in the world, I get to just sit inside where it's nice and peaceful and listen to music and talk to you good people. I hope you're having a nice day, too. Don't touch that dial. Hello again, everyone. It's one of my favorite times of the day when we get to read another letter from our listeners. Dear Earl, it sounds like you're a really picky person. Maybe you should relax and just enjoy life. <laughs> well, that's very direct. I wouldn't say I'm picky. I'm discriminating. I appreciate it when things are done right, and not just half right for show, but really right, like someone actually tried. Well, that's not too much to ask for, is it? In fact, if you really want to enjoy life, You've got to be paying attention a little bit. Well, that's my opinion anyway. But if you want to just kick back and let everything be the way it's going to be, well, that's fine too. <laughs> to each his or her own. You're listening to Sunny Breeze. Back with you, wonderful listeners. This is Earl here helping you just breathe and relax with some soothing sounds coming your way over the airwaves. Here at Sunny Breeze, everyone has permission to turn that worry dial right on down to low. Not the station dial. Don't touch that. Just leave that one right where it is. And as for those pesky worries, no point getting into it. It isn't important. So just sit back, take a big breath, and relax. It's time for another letter from our listeners. And this one comes from Anxious Anonymous. <clears throat> hi, Earl. What's your favorite place to dine out? Well, hi there, Anxious. Thanks for that. And you're right. It's best to think twice before you step outside your door. Well, it just so happens. I just had a lovely trip to the downtown diner. I got to sit down for a nice little meal. Nothing fancy. It's the simple things in life, you know. And the toast was wrong. But we don't need to get into that. The eggs were delicious, cooked just the way I like them. Not too runny, not too set. It was just the toast. They cut the wrong way across, and there was too much butter. But they brought me some new toast, and they were really nice, and listened to all my suggestions. Really nice people. And we'd all be better off if we just focused on stuff like that. Look at all the positives, and don't sweat the small stuff. Well, I hope that answers your question, Anxious. Now, back to the music. <laughs> 